Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina, you're watching the latest financial news on Insta TV. Today Greece has finally addressed its request for extension of a loan agreement for six months to the Eurogroup. The long-awaited decision gives hope for a dialogue to be renewed, but experts are not sure whether the parties are able to find a compromise. At present, the world is tensely following the fate of Greece. The U.S. economy shows more signs of a slowdown. In January, the growth in industrial production was nominal. The construction sector did not meet the expectations as well. Housing starts in the U.S. declined by 2% in January. Building permits also fell down. Analysts expect the sector to show zero growth in the first quarter of 2015. Consumers, one of the driving forces in the U.S. economy, are not active. Retail sales have reduced by 0.8 percent in January. Economists hope that harsh winter is a reason for the slowdown of one of the largest economies in the world. Anyway, weak data in the report stopped the U.S. dollar's rally. We should time storm. We believe that the euro will follow the downward trend in the short term and in the medium term until the end of the year, even if it rises against the US dollar. We think the single European currency needs to be sold while rising locally as well as in the short term. На наш взгляд, единую европейскую валюту необходимо на росте продавать как локально, так и краткосрочно. The US dollar appeared under a pressure of the Fed's dovish mood. The market is still waiting for the interest rates to be risen in the middle of 2015, but the central bank is likely to be not so sure about that anymore. On the other hand, the euro has no reasons to rise. First of all, there is not much time until the beginning of the quantity easing program and the expansion of the monetary base in the nearest future is going to depress the single European currency. Greece and the troika of creditors are still far from a compromise and that means the market tension will persist. And this was the latest financial news on Insta TV. Bye.